So I went this weekend to Houston, which is about an hour and a half away from where we live, and I had a big, giant day of thrift shopping, and this is what I was found for my junk journals. I found these four books for a dollar. This one is Postcards of Boxers, and these are like inspirational books. Very pretty on the inside. I found this template to do shapes. Paid a quarter for that. This was about $1.25, and inside this bag, it had all this Hello Kitty and uh, Oriental. This little book right here, it's all Oriental um, little stationary pages. It's very, very cute. I didn't even know what was in there because the bag was sealed and you couldn't open it in the store. So it was a grab bag. I bought this science bingo game for a dollar to use the pieces in a junk journal. I bought this calendar to actually use and then afterwards I'll use it. It's beautiful, beautiful calendar. This is the an envelope it came in. I've already hung it up for a dollar. Beautiful calendar. Got that cute little frame with the cat picture already in it for a dollar. I got this beautiful oriental journal. Um, well, it's an address book actually, but I don't know yet what I'll do with it. Beautiful padded cover. Uh, that was two dollars and it's never been used. Uh, I got this. It says Life's Journey. Um, it's a very nice journal. It looks like it has like prompts for grandparents. I don't know if I'll use it this way, but it's very nicely made where you can unscrew this and add pages. And uh, that I paid two dollars for. Some playing cards. I think I paid 25 cents for this pack and 50 cents for that pack. These are vintage cards with beautiful designs on the back. Some cross stitch fabric I may use on a cover for 50 cents. I got all this right here in the pack for a dollar. This little blank book that I may redo. And all of these dividers, just a bunch. And that was all with that book for a dollar. I got this paper package. It's Halloween. I think it says 12 sheets of scrapbook paper, and I paid a dollar. I got all these patterns. This is stencils. And then a bunch of quilt patterns and doll making patterns. That's a beautiful pattern. I do I also quilt. That one is cats, and I have cats and love cats. A doll pattern. These were all 25 cents each. I couldn't believe I found those. Look at that. You make its cloth, but it's like a pool toy, vintage pool toy. I found these cards, which are real funny, and it says, I am only as strong as the coffee I drink and the hairspray I use. That was actually one of my more expensive purchases, but it was only $2. These handmade cards that somebody made, four cards, and look at the envelopes, 40 cents. How beautiful. These little sheets, they all say the same thing. It's basically when someone is babysitting your children. You put what they ate, what they slept. I thought that was interesting for a junk journal, and that was a dollar, and it's a whole pad of them. This is a... Microwave menu notepad, almost all there. That was only 15 cents. Uh, little place cards with cute designs, 25 cents for 10 of them. This is a, a chipboard a set that you can make a chipboard journal. It has all the pieces. It's like five pieces, and it was 50 cents. A whole package of t good tissue paper, colors, 35 cents. This is interesting. It says programs, they're like bifold, a dollar, and they're all there, and there's 50 of them. That was a great buy, and it's very good cardstock, and it's embossed with the design around the edges. I bought um, 
all of these are children's board books that I'm going to redo. They ran from 10 cents up to about 50 cents. Uh, this is like a oriental no, uh, journal or novel or something. I'm going to use the pages. It's oriental words. And look at the cover, how beautiful. I may cut that out and put that on a journal front. A book about making handmade cards. And inside it, it actually has on one side sentiments that you can either copy the whole page and cut out. Or I may just cut the book up and... And, and use those. That was less than a dollar. That's a bargain. Look, 90 cents. A vintage children's book with great designs. I paid 10 cents for this. I love the cover. I'll probably make a journal out of the cover. Another book, I paid a dollar for this. This is uh, vintage and it's, uh, I think, Russian. Another vintage book that I bought, I paid a dollar. It's um, a political cartoonist. The whole book, it's called the Erblock book. And the entire book, is, he's, it was a political cartoonist and it's just filled with his political cartoons which are just really awesome. Uh, they look to be like from the 30s and 40s. Great, great book, I paid a dollar for that. A book about cats. I paid less than a dollar and I love cats and I probably will take and cut the pictures out. Um, I think I paid a dollar twenty for this book. It's some um, orient more oriental writing. The area of Houston that I went to was like Korea uh, area and so they had really neat things. This is a paper doll book. I paid 50 cents for it and Silly me, I didn't look. The actual paper doll has already been cut out, but I can still probably use the dresses, and I just may find pictures and magazines and, and use those as the faces and use them in journals. All of these cards were like $2 for a grab bag of cards. These right here are gorgeous cards. They're made by a company called Pumpernickel Press. These are interesting because inside, these were like the salesman's um, samples. Inside, it talks about just the company. It has no sentiments inside, so it's fascinating. And I'll probably use those for journal covers because they're. I, I take more time and show you. They're just beautiful, embossed, heavy good quality paper cards and they're beautiful and every single one is a different design and they're all animals different animals that was probably my best purchase of the day another pack of cards for two dollars um, an entire huge gigantic bag of corks of course everybody on pinterest makes things out of corks and it was two dollars and 92 cents uh, I, I do fabric, I, I sew, and I do quilts too. I got these great um, beautiful uh, handkerchiefs. They were Indian design. I think they were 25 and 50 cents. And then just fabric, beautiful fabric. This one is an Indian design, and I collect that. Four yards of fabric for $4. I mean, that's amazing. You can't beat that. This is brand new fabric. This one is so cute. And this one was two yard, well, almost two yards for $2. Another Indian print. This is a beautiful Hawaiian type print. $2 for two yards. This is a great floral, very modern. Two dollars, one and a half yards. I bought these bags to redo. I'm going to paint over them. They were a quarter each. There's three of them. And then I got this huge bag. This, this bag probably has 20 yards of fabric in it. Very good quality fabric. Six dollars for the entire bag. So I had a fantastic day thrift shopping in Houston. Houston has amazing thrift shops. Uh, so if you're in the area, go look.